Well, we made it to the last letter in the scarf model, the F, which stands for fairness. This is our sense that decisions made around here, the practices in place, the policies, the systems, that they are fair, they're just, they're unbiased, that I am not disadvantaged in the system somehow. Fairness is a tricky one to enhance because each person's perception of fairness can be different, right? I can remember a client a while back who had reclassified some hourly employees to be salaried employees. And they did this because they wanted to compensate them better. And they wanted the employees to really feel like value-added members of the team. Well, when I conducted a listening tour early on, the number one complaint that I heard from employees was, gosh, they just reclassified me to salary because I think they want me to just be available all the time and they want me to work extra hours without really keeping track of it. That was their perception because they didn't understand the rationale behind the decision and they weren't clear on the new expectations within the decision. And so the way to enhance the sense of fairness for our team members is to be overly transparent, share all the facts and data and information, the rationale behind decisions. That's one thing. The second thing is to involve individuals in the decision making. Ask them for their input. Ask them to be an active member in the, the process of designing practices, systems, policies for the organization because when they are a part of that process, the outcome will feel more fair in the end. Fairness. It is a real threat to our sense of social well-being and also something that can be enhanced when we take intentional action to do so.